Happy Monday, YouTube family, YouTube friends. Today I am back with four no experience work from home job leads that I would like to share with you, as well as I am going to give you some free resource if you need help paying your utility bills, if you need food, or you need a free laptop or low cost laptop, I'm gonna give you that information. I'm gonna show you free places about Microsoft 365 training where you'll learn it, as well as take you to a platform where you can practice your data entry for free. And then also I'm gonna show you a free place and walk you through how to optimize your resume so it can pass the ATS. So watch the video all the way through because they're valuable information in all of my videos to help you get closer to the next level. And you know that I get excited every time when I share my screen. Why? Because there is room at the table for everyone, for those who want to partake, you know, go out here and grab what the Lord has for you to do. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the first job. Remember, I'm talking about no talk and work from home job leads, as well as it may be some customer service. Service. Now, I'm talking about the company Insight Global. Insight Global is more of a um, staffing service where they are looking for people. And I tell anybody that if you're looking for a job, I recommend you to go to a staffing service first because you can get hired quickly um, if you really, really need a job. And they hire, they have a whole bunch of positions available um, in this platform. Um, all you have to do is put your, your address or not your address, but your zip code in there and they can see if they have jobs that are um, available in your area to work from home. But right now I reach out to companies on all of these jobs as well. They're seeking data entry to work from home, even though it posted June of 27, 2024. It is still current, even though it says the location is in um, Arizona. I reached out to hire manager. They will hire as long as you're in the 50 states. And this is a contract position where you'd be a 1099. And then a salary is between 19 and $29 an hour for this position. And when we go in again, they're seeking a fully remote opportunity for a detail or data entry specialized uh, specialists to join their accounting and finance department. This primary responsibility of the role is to support the accounts receivable, which is AR, function by entering information, reviewing customers' accounts, applying payments, obtaining payments from insurance companies, and clearing payments in the individual accounts. The ideal candidate will have prior experience in account receivables and a strong background in dating entry. Watch the video all the way through because I'm going to show you a free place where you can practice your dating entry for free. This role will be heavily be working with Excel for all data reports. Again, watch the video because I'm going to show you a free place where you can learn Excel for free and you must have strong experience again within Excel. So when they break it down on what you're going to do is you're going to clear payments and in individual accounts, ensure that all transactions are accurately re recorded and balanced. And then you're going to perform regular back office data entry tasks to support the overall efficient of the AR department, assist the preparation of reports related to accounts receivable and payment status, collaborate with other members of the accounting and finance team to ensure accurate, accurate and timely process of payments. And if this sounds like something you're able to do, go ahead. It only requires a high school diploma or equivalent. Social degree or bachelor's degree in account finance or related field is preferred. That means if you have it, that's great. And when I say it's not a lot of experience, y'all, it really is not a lot of experience. Data entry, I'm going to show you a free place where you can practice your data entry, okay? Um, excellent organization time management skills, you should already have that. Uh, proficient in office like Excel Word, I'm going to show you a free place where you can learn it. Uh, strong communication skills, both written and verbal. It really doesn't have, even though it says prior experience at account receivable or similar role within accounting and finance department, it's really easy. It's not that hard, okay? They're not asking for a lot of experience. So if this is something you want to do, make sure you go ahead and apply. This is job number one, okay? Job number two is with the company X Out Coding. They're seeking junior data entry specialists to work from home, even though it says this state. Um, yes, you have to live in this state, but according to hiring manager, I always reach out to hiring manager just to double check before I just make a video. So I'm telling you the right information. As long as you're in the 50 states, you're eligible to apply. It says any location. I verified it. It is full time. But if you're looking for a part time job, go here where it says job openings and explore within the company. Search for the in the company. They have part time jobs as well. Now, when we scroll down, 
They do not have the salary listed. So I take upon myself to research when I'm uncertain. And I came up, according to Zip Recruiter or Glassdoor, the salary for this position is $40,160 a year. And that's $19 an hour. Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper, you're going to enter update and verify data in various and client system. You're going to maintain satisfactory quality and productive. Uh, being productive. You're going to also maintain effective oral and written communication with business unit specialists. Now, the job only requires a high school diploma or GED or one year of equivalent work experience is not a lot of experience, must possess basic analytical oral and written skills, proficient in using a computer and baseware software program that's very easy, fluent in English, language, verbal, and written. You see, it doesn't require a lot of experience. Okay, that's why I say no experience. So if this is something that you want to do, make sure you go ahead and apply today by clicking here. This is job number two. Now, job number three is Robert Half. I've talked about Robert Half before, but I'm going to tell you again. If you need a job fast, I suggest you to go through a staffing service, y'all. A staffing service, you will get hired quickly. I had people in my family that lost jobs, and I told them by going to Insight Global and Robert Half, they got a job within two weeks, and they are working. Even though it's a temp job, they're taking that to make some money to keep from losing things, okay? So if you really need a job, I suggest you to go to Robert Half, and you can click up here where it says Found Jobs, and you can found jobs. But what we're going to be talking about today is data entry. They do have a lot of data entry uh, positions, but you will have to put in your information like your zip code and check and see if they have data, data entry. Or you can reach out to them and ask too. But the data entry clerk, it's a temporary job. Again, it's a staffing service, but temporary can go to full time. It happened to me before. The pay is $19.22 an hour. Now, the requirement for this position here, what you're going to be doing is even though it says that it's in this city and state, they do hire in, in others, the 50 states, as long as you're in the United States. OK, um, so the role primarily involves data entry where you will enter data such as. Um, part numbers and quantities of items. This role does not involve the fiscal count, but focus on the data entry portion of the project. While this is a short-term contract, employment opportunity, they can hire you on uh, permanently, ac according to the hiring manager when I reach out, okay? Now, basically what you'll do is you're going to, again, you're going to enter data for the inventory, inventory, sorry about that, count project, Use 10 key punch method for data entry. I'm going to show you a free place where you can practice your data entry for free. So watch it all the way through. Assist with any other data entry related tasks as needed. And then when you go down, assist with resolutions um, in the, on the way you enter data. And then the requirement is just proficient in data entry tasks included both alpha, numeric, and 10 key typing, strong attention to details. Excellent organization skills, good written and verbal communication skills, basic knowledge of Microsoft Office Suite. I'm going to show you how you can learn it for free. It only requires a high school diploma. And you see, it's really not a lot of experience. That's why I say it's no experience. So if this is something you want to do, all you need to do is click right here where it says apply. But again, explore within the company, put your zip code on there. And it should pull up because they said that they're hiring in the 50 states. I'm getting this information according to recruiters and the hiring manager. OK, so again, go check it out. This is opportunity number three. Opportunity number four. OK, let me go all the way up here is with this company. As you can see on the screen, they're seeking research specialists to work from home. OK, it is fully remote. It is full time. And the hours are Mondays through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You do not have to live in Pacific Standard Time to do this job. You can be in Central Standard Time, as long as you're able to work Pacific Standard Time, according to hiring manager. The starting salary is $15 per hour, okay? Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper about um, what you're going to be doing here, is basically you're going to process search related to background and screening reports. You are going to ensure all searches are processed and reported according to state and federal laws. You're going to analyze information and compare data sets to confirm matching identifiers. And you're going to meet or exceed minimal standard service requirement. Now, the requirement is just a high school diploma or GED is required. Associates or bachelor's degree preferred, meaning if you have it, that's great. Or a minimum of year, one year of screening experience. Now, qualification 
excellent written and verbal communication skills. Um, you need to have spelling and grammar, must be comfortable communicating via email, form, and Microsoft Teams. Proficient in Microsoft Office Suite, uh, Teams, Word, Excel, Outlook, SharePoint. Again, I'm going to show you a free place. Watch it all the way through where I'm going to walk you through on free things you can learn is for free. And you see, it really doesn't require a lot of experience, y'all. That's why I say no experience. And then the benefits, of course, you're going to get medical vision, dental and supplement insurance, paid holidays and paid time off, sick time. And if this is something that you want to do, make sure you go ahead and apply today for this particular job here. OK, and all you have to do is click right here where it says apply again. Explore within the company and see if there's any other jobs that you may be interested in by clicking here where it says all jobs. OK, so I gave you four no experience work from home job leads is a mixture of no talking and a little bit of phone jobs for those who want to do it. Now, before I get into showing you the Microsoft 365, I want to take out time to show you a list of resources. If you are in need of food, you need help paying utility bills, or if you need a free laptop or a low-cost laptop, this is for you, y'all. Don't be ashamed. Everybody's going through the storms of life where a lot of people cannot afford things. And if you need the system, that's where these organizations are here is to help you, okay? So um, like United Way 211, provides free and confidential system to connect individual with local resource for help with utilities, housing, food, and other essential need. All you need to do is go to, to the website 211.org. Government system program, and, and again, this is only in the United States, and the various federal and state programs offer financial aid for those struggling with bills, including a system for housing, utility foods, and health care. You'll go to benefits.gov. Also, Salvation Army offers very program assistance with utility bills, rent, and other emergency financial needs. You're going to go to Salvation Army assistance. And then we go down a little bit further here. Um, community Action Agency, these local agencies provide a range of service, including helping with bills, housing, and employment, tailored to meet the needs of the community. And then if you're looking for a free laptop or a low-cost laptop, PCS for People provides low-income individual and families with refurbished computers, internet, and digital literacy support. And then the Own It Foundation offers free computers and internet access to low-income families with kids in the grade K to 12 students in the United States. And then when you go down a little bit further, there are so many organizations that you can go out there and that they're willing to help you. Again, I reached out to them just to verify and they still will help you um, for those who are in need. Now, when you go down here, this is what I want to explain to you. You want to go to the website and understand the eligibility criteria for receiving a free or low cost laptop. You want to follow the application process as outlined by each organization. This may include providing proof of income or need. Always explore local resource and community organization as they may have specific programs for providing technology to those in need. Y'all, it's companies, and I'm going to do research, if you have trouble paying your internet, it's companies that will pay your internet too as well. I'm going to share that with you too. Um, I'm still researching, but I found a whole bunch of companies that if you need help paying your internet, they will pay for your internet as long as it's dealing with um, you know, working from home. So take advantage of this, y'all. Uh, you know, you may not need this today, but you know, next week you may need this. So if you need this information on the list of resource, reach out to me. I will send it to you. Um, just bear with me because I have a lot of emails people are sending, but I have sent this out to so many people. It's no shame. I'm not going talking about you say, yeah, girl, this person need this and that. You know, we all are going through something and we all need to stick together and pull together. And, you know, like I said, surround yourself around positive people that's going to help you. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And this is what God wants me to do is help you. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Y'all take advantage of this. I'm here. I'm your YouTube family, your YouTube friend. I'm here to help you. So if you need this list, reach out to me. Okay. Now we're going to be talking about Microsoft 365 training. Y'all hear me talk about that in all my videos. You need to go to Microsoft 365 training. This is what it looks like. Y'all, you can learn Microsoft 365 for free. You can learn Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, Access for free, y'all. So that's, you know, I'm all about the free stuff. So here you go. 
So in those job rec, it talked about learning Excel, talked about PowerPoint. It talked about all of this. So if I click on Excel here, this is what you're going to see. You're going to have some videos that's going to train you for free. OK, the one I'm showing you, you're going to you can learn rows and columns. You can learn sales, formulas and functions, tables, charts. You, you get the picture. It's so much you can do. If I click on table, this is the video that's going to appear. I suggest you to pull up Microsoft Excel and walk yourself through this so you can get practice. I call this a PDF file where it's walking you through here. If you have Windows, it will walk you through here how to do. If you have a Mac, it show you how to do Excel on Mac. If you or have a web, it shows you that. OK, so there's a lot that they will go over. You just click on it and it will walk you through step by step for free. OK, it tells you here there's different things here that you can watch um, filter data in a range of tables. There are things that you can watch in order to get to the next level. So that's why I say take advantage of this free stuff. There's free things out there, y'all, because I do the research and I can find a whole bunch of free things out there for you to get started. OK, so take advantage of it. Again, it is Microsoft 365 training. The information will be in the YouTube description bar. OK, now, since we're talking about a lot of data entry type of jobs, I tell you, you need to go practice your data entry. OfficialTypeOfTest.com is free, 99 too as well, where you can practice your 10 key test, which is data entry and your typing. So if I go to 10 key and I scroll down, I have a choice to do full 10 key tests with numbers and symbols where you can time yourself, yourself one minute, three minute or five minute. Or I could do numbers only zip code where you can time yourself one minute, three minutes or five minutes. And then also you can do paragraph tests. I'm going to show you all of them. OK, the first one, we're going to go over full 10 key test, which is numbers and symbol. And I'm just going to choose one minute so I can show you how it look. This is how it look. The test will not begin until you press your first key. If I go back and I choose numbers only, this is what the test look like. This is data entry. You, it will not start until you press begin your, your first key or press your first key. And once you finish, it will tell you how many um, keystroke that you type per um, minute. OK. And then also paragraph type and test. You can choose paragraph type and test. And again, you can choose how long you want to practice. One minute, three minute, five minute, 10 minute on, on time. And I'm going to choose for the sake of it time. This is the type and test. You can practice this, y'all. And this is free. Ninety nine. Y'all, you don't have to pay. I'm all about free saving money. Save your, save your coins and do things for free. Again, it is officialtypeoftest.com. The information is in my YouTube description bar. OK, now we're going to be talking about the meat. The meat here, y'all, is optimizing your resume, getting help with your resume. Um, a lot of people are spending money, paying somebody $100, $200. Yes, I know is people reach out to me every single day. And they take their last dime to get their resume revamped or rewritten just to get a job. And they found out that they can't get a job because why? They're making a one size fit all resume, meaning that they're asking you what type of job you're looking for. You may say customer service and they only optimize that resume to customer service. But say, for example, if you decide, oh, I want to play, apply for data entry or I want to apply for a health coder. And you send that one size fit all resume. Do you think it's going to pass the applicant track system? I'm waiting. Um, it, you think it's going to pass? No. Why? Because that resume is not optimized to the job you're uh, applying for. It's just optimized to customer service. So every job that you're applying for, it has to have the keywords from that job post into your resume in order for it to pass the applicant tracking system. So that's why I say save your money. You do not have to pay for a resume template. You can go to Canva and get resume templates for free. You know, they have a free version and they have a paid version. They have really nice free resumes for templates for free. And then earn better is free. OK, I'm going to walk you through and show you how it works. OK, first of all, you can find jobs on here. OK, I haven't screened them, but I have looked at them. You can find jobs. You can apply for jobs on this platform as well. You can track your jobs after you get through applying for jobs. You can track your jobs when you have interviews. You can track that. Now, let me show you this. This is something special here is that interview prep on this platform, AI interview support. 
whatever job that you apply for, it's going to prepare you for the company, right? You can answer three in interview questions at your own pace, tailored to your profile and job. They would grade your response and provide feedback instantly, and you keep improving. So if I wanted to, I can hit start practicing, and somebody on the end is pre-recorded. Tell me something about yourself. They're asking all these questions on this interview sheet sheet just to prepare you and you recording your answer and they grade you and say, hey, yeah, you did great or you can improve. You can do a little bit better. So if I was doing an interview for this a practice interview, this is the sheet sheet and it depends on the speed of your Internet. It's generating the interview sheet sheet for the company Sinclair broadcast group so I can go ahead and practice. This is what it looks like, y'all. Why do you want this job? You can look at the answer, not the copy, but to put it in your own words. How do your skills align with this role? Again, it's telling you. So all you have to do is read it and put it in your own words. What are your greatest strength? Look at this. This is free 99. You know, even though I'm a job coach, resume review, interview prep, y'all, I'm giving you this for free, y'all. People will charge you a lot of money to come in here and do this. And this is free. This is what God placed on my heart to do is to help you. Because when you're looking for a job, it's you can't afford to pay a resume coach or get all this. You need something for free. So that is what I'm showing. Take advantage of this. This is a gold mine, y'all. Whoever invented this, God bless them. This is going to help so many people out here that is looking for a job. This is going to help you in so many ways. So, again, you can practice interviewing. When you go here to documents as well, you can do resumes, cover letters, reference letters, thank you emails, follow up emails. Now, I want to tell you now, in order to when you do resume, if you get past 15, it's not going to let you do another resume. So all you got to do is delete. You can go here and delete the ones that resume you not. So you can always go in here and do resume. I had to do this. And then now I deleted all the 15 and then I'm able to do resume. I just want to throw it out there to you, but it is free 99 to you. So if I was going to do a resume, I can say I already have a system uh, resume already uploaded and to um, earn better. Or if I'm new and I've never uploaded a um, resume before, I would have to click right here, hit save and continue. And you can upload your resume as a PDF file. Now, if I you don't have to have a resume, they have a template for you. I don't have a resume. OK, so we can make our resume. That's why I say you do not have to have a you can start from scratch. You do not have to upload your resume. You can if you want to. But if you don't, you can just type in and it does it for you. Like, for example, whatever job that I am interested in applying for, if I go back and say, I'm interested in applying for this research specialist job. I just go here. You can either type it in and see if it's already in there, but it's not in there. So I want to copy and paste the job title word for word. So you see me doing that. And then I'm hit tab. Then I'm hit save and continue. This is my resume template, y'all. This is my resume template. It's going to make the resume for me. All I need to do is click right here where it says edit and add the information. Like I can put my name here um, in, in here. I can put my last name and then my email address. I can make up a phone number, put my phone number in here. And then whatever city um, that I'm in here, I could say um, Orlando, Colorado, even though that's not right. I'm just showing you how it works. I'll put my LinkedIn here if I have a LinkedIn. My summary. I'm going to show you how easy it is, y'all, because I dealt with a lot of resumes and I've seen people just put something very short and, and, and simple. I could say seeking a, and I'm going to say research specialist position with five years of experience working in a healthcare setting. Okay, hold on, y'all. Setting, um, looking to grow within, hold on, within a company. Okay, and I know it does. It may not sound, you know, professional, whatever. But I want to show you how AI is going to rewrite this. Okay, 
it's going to rewrite it for me. So I just wrote down seeking a research specialist position with five years experience working in a healthcare setting, looking to grow within a company. So I can have AI to rewrite this summary for me. OK. And again, it depends on your speed. This is the original here, what I said. But they would give you suggestions if you wanted to. Um, suggestion one didn't work, but it says as original was not provided. I'm unable to crap, but it's I'm sorry. OK. So what I have to do is um, put more words in here. I'm trying to think, looking to grow within the company, um, experience, and I'm just going to throw some experience. I'm going to put a little bit more stuff in here and see if you experience in writing, research, data entry, and then I can say I'm a hard working person who is eager to learn new things. So let me see here if it's going to rewrite it again. Um, suggestions. OK, it didn't rewrite it here. Hold on just for a second, y'all. But it, again, if you were doing this, is something wrong with this at this particular time? Hold on. But it will rewrite this summary. I've done it in previous videos where it make it sound a little bit professional here. Um, hold on. Please provide the resume t text for more tailored. Pro OK, so I need to go in here. Let me let me do this here. Why well, have y'all see we working this up out going to put a little bit more information here. Um, see if I can do this here. I can put a little bit information in here more. So I'm just showing you here. Uh, put a little bit of information and have it to rewrite. Uh, which it did here. Okay, you see I had to put a little bit of information in here. Okay, it's still not working, y'all. I do apologize here. But again, how it will work is that if I put my information in here, it would um, actually rewrite everything. Okay, that's basically what it would do. It would rewrite it, um, everything, um, and reword it to the best of the ability again. Okay, so here it is right here. I'm sorry, y'all. But here it is, objective, eager to apply. I can choose suggestion one, suggestion two, or suggestion three. So I'm going to do um, suggestion one, and I'm going to hit apply. And it wrote that objective for me. Okay? It did. Now, I can add the work experience wherever. If I say data entry, I'm just showing you. I can key it in, and I can say data entry clerk. The company name, I can use Sutherland. The city, I can say Atlanta, Florida. I can say July 24, 2024, present. And then I can rewrite the, uh, the AI can rewrite my description if I go back into the job. And I just probably say, I'm going to put this here like this. And then I'm going to go back to earn better. What I do is I like to put, um, I should put bullet points, but I'm going to put a star in front of this here, an asterisk. I'm going to do it like this here, y'all. I'm showing you here. I'm walking you through. I'm showing you the gems, y'all. A lot of people wouldn't do this, but I enjoy what I do. I ask God, what is my purpose? And it's to help people. And that's what I'm doing here. Okay? And then add your education. If you have a high school diploma, you can put high school diploma. And then if I want to put in that, put that information you know, the graduate date, I can put the 24, I can put Disney World, um, I can put Orlando, Florida, you get the picture. If I had certification, I could add it in here. Um, I don't have certification and I can add these skills in here too as well. I'm just trying to show you how it works, how easy it is to work, okay? And then all I have to do is, is saving and I can hit finish, okay? I'm going to show you how it works. Then I can go back into this resume right here. OK, you see how it works. I have my name, my email address, my fake phone number and where the city and then how it made my objective right here. You see, and then my work experience, it add all of this in here. The bullet points already. I just put the asterisk in there. Um, you don't have to do that, but it adds the bullet points for that particular job. You see how it did everything for me. OK. Um, education. You see, I put the education, the skills, D 
this is your resume template. It will figure it out for you, okay? And then after you get through, if you please with it, you can go in here and download it. But if there's a issue, always go into edit and you can edit your objective. You can take objective off if I want to. You can do that and it automatically saves. And then I can go back into it. Um, you know, I can exit out of here and I can always go back into this resume. And you see how I, I took the objective off and this is what it looks like. So this is free 99. I tell you to take advantage of it. This is a great opportunity, y'all, to get your resume optimized and take you to the next level, y'all. And I walk you through it. I mean, this is great. I use it. Okay. There's so much you could do. You can do cover letters. You could do reference letters. You can do thank you email after you have a interview or um, you could do re reference letter. I can take you and show you how you can do. Uh, well, that's coming soon. That future that feature is coming soon. But you can do a follow up email again. What title um, that you're applying for? I'm gonna show you that right quick. This is I'm telling you, this is a gold mine, y'all. This is a gold mine. I don't, I don't, I, if I was you, I would not sit on it that long. This is a gold mine, y'all. If you put, you know, if I want to do a follow up, what job title do you apply for? Do research um, right here. What company that you applying for? Say, for example, if I was applying for Sutherland and who email put the email in there, save and continue. Tell us about the role. I'm excited about this role because it's a new challenge. I'm inspired. You choose what you want and then you hit save and continue. And then it's analyzing the job requirement and it's preparing um, your letter. This is a follow up. Like if you're applying for a job and you haven't heard anything from them, it's following up on the research specialist application. It says, Dear and Hire Manager, I'm writing to follow up on my recent application for the research specialist position at Sutherland. You know, I want to reiterate iterate my strong interest and assignment for the opportunity to join your team as a business professional. I am always seeking new challenge and I believe this role will provide me with the perfect opportunity to utilize in my skills and contribute to the company's success. I am eager, eager, I'm sorry, eagerly waiting your response and look forward to hearing back from you soon. Thank you for your time and consideration and my fake name in here. Okay. So that's how easy it is. Y'all take advantage of this. Again, it is free 99. You can hit finish and it saves it for you. Okay. So take advantage of it. I'm here to help you. I'm doing everything I can to get you to the next level, but you got to take the tools and um, use it to the best of your ability. Y'all, I know this video is long. Okay. But I have to sit down and explain to my YouTube family so I can start getting um, testimonies that you have received a job offer. And you know, if this video has been helpful. I want you to hit that like button as well as I want you to comment. I want you to, to also subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build a community where we can uplift and encourage one another on our job search in everyday life. And if you want to be a part of it, ride, subscribe to the channel. I want to speak life over you, y'all. The power of the tongue determines life and death. You know, you got to have that mindset. You got to have a willing heart, a willing mind, and a willing spirit to go out there and grab what the Lord has for you to do. You got to stop speaking death over yourself, okay? You got this. I know that it's tough out there because I've been through it. We go through the storms of life. Some people go through it every, you know, more often than other people, but you got to understand through the storms, the sun will shine again. God is not going to put nothing on you that you can't bear. We just got to keep pushing. That means praying to something happen. And prayer will change his things. Prayer will move mountains. So you got to get out there and just believe it and step out on the word of God. Um, rejection is a part of life. I've been rejected. I know what it's like looking for jobs. I know what it's like living paycheck to paycheck. I know when it's like when you don't have support from family and friends. I know what it's like being lied on, talked about, criticized, um, called everything but a child of God. I know what it's like. I've been there. I know that people are going through a lot of things, but you got to hold on because God is getting ready to bring you out. Your test is going to be a testimony. The mess that you're going through is going to be a message. And I feel that we all run in a race and God is saying, on your mark, get set, go. And you cannot look to your left. And you can't look to your right. Competition is out there, but it's good. You got to just say, Lord, what can I do different to set myself apart from my competitors? And again, you cannot worry about your competitors. You got to run your race because for sure at the end, you will win. So keep the faith, keep pushing. 
and surround yourself around positive people that have goals similar to you because you can conquer the world when you have God on your side. And I want you to say, I want to tell you this. I don't want you to give up. Giving up is not the option. I know you get tired, but get up and run your race because you will win. Many blessings to each and every one of y'all. And I pray that whatever you desire in your heart, it shall be given in the name of Jesus. Get out here today and grab what the Lord has for you today. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. Have a great day. Bye.